Hello again. Whenever discussion turns to the woeful state of nations in Africa and the problems faced by the countries of the Caribbean, a ready-made answer always pops up. This is that these places were exploited by the British Empire and the people who lived in them cruelly mistreated by the British. This is said to account for the shambles that these places are in now, many years after they were granted independence, and also why they are in general poverty-stricken and unable to get much done. In many cases, even feeding their citizens and preventing them from massacring each other proves too much for the leadership of such former colonies. In other words, if we had not colonised them in the first place, who knows what marvels might have been achieved by now. Africa could be a veritable paradise if we'd left it alone. It's all our fault. This simple explanation is accepted uncritically by almost everybody in the West, or at the very least they pay lip service to it. Those of us who think about the business a little harder are not quite so sure. Few countries colonised by the British suffered more than India. From the ruthless suppression of the Indian mutiny in 1857, the massacre at Amritsar in 1919, the famine in Bengal during the Second World War, and to say nothing of the millions of refugees during the granting of independence, if ever a country could be said to have suffered from British imperialism, India was it. A few hours ago, photographs were published which had been taken from a spaceship orbiting the moon. The thumbnail to this video shows one of these photographs. The aim is to land a robot explorer at the moon's south pole, something which has not been done before. Here is a simple question, and a genuine one, in that I am interested in what people think might be the explanation for what is seen. We take it for granted that India now launches spacecraft at the moon and Mars. We know too that China and Japan also have successful space programs, launching satellites and, in the case of China, men into orbit around the Earth. We also know that the idea of Nigeria or South Africa doing such a thing would be absurd. It would be laughable to think of Jamaica sending a rocket around the moon. Why? Obviously, the legacy of colonialism is not sufficient to explain this, and neither is a lack of natural resources. African nations have huge deposits of the rare earths which we in the West need for our mobile phones and electric cars. Jamaica has some of the largest deposits of bauxite ore in the world. Bauxite is the ore from which we extract aluminium. Why are we not surprised to see India launch a rocket to the moon, but know that it is inconceivable that any black African or Caribbean nation could hope to do such a thing? Here is another curious fact. In India, the homicide rate is fewer than 3 per 100,000. It's not all that much higher than the homicide rate in this country. In Nigeria, it is 10 times higher than it is in India. While in Jamaica, the homicide rate is almost 60 per 100,000. That is to say about 20 times as high as that in India. We see this reflected in the murders in this country, for it is rare for Hindus and Sikhs in Britain to kill people, but it is far more common for people of African ancestry to do so. Why is that? Is there a connection between this kind of thing and scientific and academic achievement? I do not know the answers to these questions, but I certainly think they are worth asking. 